everyone how are you lighting is really really rubbish and i apologize but it's kind of the only way i'm going to be able to do this um today and i'm not going to have time to do it any other time in the week so i thought i'd better just get it out of the way and um do the video today um i apologize in advance <laughs> if i'm a bit flaky i've had a migraine uh, yesterday and it kind of leaves me a bit crazy and I have to really hyper focus but like I said if I didn't do it today I wouldn't do it so how are you all doing um, mm, I did a live last week and showed some beautiful baby prints and things just some things that I'd got um, but I also showed some baby bottles and then um, my, my friend Michelle has done a video and she had mentioned these baby bottles and she's had lots of requests saying can we see these baby bottles so i thought i would show you them here um i just give you a little bit of background of why um and you know this is not to be these facts on breastfeeding or anything you know this is this is just what i do for my dolls um and i thought it would be nice to share and you might want to do it too um so i breastfed all four of my babies i would have loved to bottle feed but they wouldn't um and um obviously i'm not gonna breastfeed a doll um he's a doll in fact i don't actually role play but i would want a bottle in a picture to represent breast milk as opposed to formula now um my stance on that is fed is best no matter how that happens to be before anybody comes formula bashing me or breastfeeding bashing me however my personal experience is i i chose to breastfeed my four children so i want my breast milk to my bottle milk my milk in my bottles to look like breast milk um so i have made some and i thought i would show you and go through go through it with you um I hope you're going to be able to see in this light. I'm losing it really, really fast, but we'll we'll plow through as fast as we can and see. So the first one I did was colostrum, and as you can see, it's really, really quite orange. This is the milk that you know you might uh, be able to express in the bath when you're quite far on pregnant. You might lose a few drops, and it's the stuff that we like store we keep you you collect millimeters in in syringes and you keep it um or that their mum produces once the baby's born because not everybody produces it before the baby's born and this is quite a lot you wouldn't get nowhere near this milk this much but obviously if i just put a tiny little bit in a syringe you wouldn't see the effect i was going for so this is the colostrum and it's quite thick it's very 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 yellow and um and that's what that one is and then I have some um, fall milk, which is this one, um, which is really, really watery in consistency, much more, more watery than the colostrum, which is quite thick. Um, it's got quite a bluish tint to it. Um, and this is like the really um, first crunching milk, the, the, the fall milk. Um, the, that fast, that really fast flowing first milk that, you know, gets the baby to settle for a few minutes um, and in their tummy no breast milk is obviously full of antibodies and um, live bacteria for the gut and all of those good things but we, I mean, we don't need to go into that. However, it does change the way breast milk, look, breast milk looks. So I have some hind milk in various colours and this one is quite yellowy. This would be really thick, like gold top milk, that's it, you know. Um, it would, the bit that, this is the type of milk that, you know, that makes the babies put on weight and all of that, all the good stuff. And then I've got one that's slightly less yellow. Again, it's still that um, hind milk. It's still that thick, gorgeous, lovely, creamy milk. And I have another one here. So these are all, um, various stages of breast milk, various types of breast milk, I suppose, um, depending on where you are in the feeding cycle, 
how old the baby is um, and all of these all of these stages I mean not this one this one's just like right at the beginning but all of these stages happen throughout a, a feed every feed um, and you know they change color over time they can be quite green they can be blue they can be red you know it will depend on so many factors what mum's eaten is mum ill is baby ill um, um, the developmental stage of the baby lots and lots of factors and then i do have these ones the allergy ones but the allergy bottles um, you can't see the color change in them um, they have got the um, fake breast milk in but you can't see the color change because they've got this silicon coating on them um, which is lovely on the glass bottles so there's those and I make these the same as everybody else does probably. Um, it is um, fabric softener. It is um, cool boiled water out of the kettle and food colouring, yellow food colouring for the gold yellow ones. And obviously you just add more or less depending on what colours you want. And the four milk one has got a little tiny bit of blue um, and green in to give it this kind of collar here and then I have this one too this one's um, hind milk as well um, and effectively this is what breast milk would look like bottle fed baby's milk doesn't look like this um, so a particular brand um, has a particular color and that color is consistent it doesn't change because it's measured out to be one scoop one mil of you know one scoop, scoop of the powder one mil of the um, water and it's so it's the same consistency throughout it's the same color throughout um, and sometimes quite grayish um, and again obviously that will depend on the brand um, one brand might look like a slightly different color to another brand but they don't go through this stage and I just thought it was you know just something a little bit different um, you might like to see it. So this video isn't very long and I am actually going to really end it here because it's just so dark. Um, I was going to feed him um, but I think I'll just do that in another video when it's a, a brighter day um, and I haven't had a migraine because nobody needs to listen through the garbage. So have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. If you've got any suggestions of any, any of the content that you'd like me to do, Drop me a comment below, let me know. Um, I'm fairly new to YouTube, making YouTube content. Um, I don't always come up with the best ideas. So if you've got any, that would be great. Um, if you'd like to see something in particular, give me a shout, let me know. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell um, if this is content you wanna see. Have a great day. If you've got any new babies in um, or you've got something on your channel that you think that I might like, drop me a message below and I'll go and check it out. Lots of love. Thank you for watching as usual and I will catch you in the next video.